Do you normally use a foundation all over your face? Yes, I do. Do you think that all over your face you need coverage? It's a habit, I think. Welcome to Rethink Your Routine at Home Edition. My name is Sandra. I'm a 51 year old mother of two with perimenopausal skin, looking for something to give me a glow. When you just feel, I gotta get my glow back. Without further ado, let's meet Sandra. Hey, Sandra. Hello. When you look in the mirror, what's the thing you're most feeling that you're thinking, I want to change this or I want to look at different ways? I've noticed I've just started to get hooded eyes. I never had those before. And um, a couple of lines around my, my jawline. Forget about the crow's feet, the lines, because hell, they're there. But mentally, what's that feeling that you want back or something you feel you've lost or something you just feel has changed? Getting that va va voom back. A mum of two you know, I've done the school run. My eldest is 28, my youngest is 16. I feel now at 52 this year is my time. So I wanna get myself back, which I feel I've missed for the last 28 years. A part of that, which sometimes I think women find difficult to say is we wanna put ourselves first again. It just feels weird saying it because it makes it sound like you're selfish, doesn't it? I think that's a brilliant place to start because we can do all lovely makeup tips and tricks, but I want you to feel it's not a selfish thing to say, I want to put myself first, and because then you give them the best version of you and they benefit so much from your feeling really good about yourself. If there's a plane crash, you put your oxygen mask on first, and then you help yourself, then you can help others. You said it in a far more succinct version than I did. Just put the oxygen mask on! <laughs> so you know what we're going to do now, don't you? I do. <laughs> we're going to strip it off. Yep. Do you normally use a foundation all over your face? Yes, I do. Do you think that all over your face you need coverage? It's a habit, I think, because I just think it gives that more even sort of look. If it's slightly the wrong colour, I think there's a tendency to put it all over your face to try and even it up. But if it's the right shade, you don't need to do that. I've never sort of found anything that has sort of been the right shade. What I think is the products you were using gave your skin more warmth right but because the tone of your skin now is different but in the winter do you feel washed out i do it's very difficult to find that that right shape so you're more a cooler undertone as a base so getting the right tone is going to be important and everything will blend beautifully because your skin itself is just marvelous sort of the pigmentation type stuff going on here especially around the, the, mainly around the hairline. It's a little bit, and it is classic with your skin tone, because mm. all different skin tones and shades have different ways they show discoloration. You can have this depth of color here, and then it's a little bit lighter here, and that can also be using skin products over a number of years, which have slight lightening ingredients in them like you know vitamin c's and right, other okay. products that might contain them so you know we do this and this but we don't always do that right. those bits perhaps don't get that care and attention how often do you wear spf in the car um i try most of the time but even spf is an issue trying to find that at the moment i'm using um la roche prose and it, it's not right for me i have to really really rub it in because if not i'll end up looking like really gray and ashy helio care okay it's like that, it's a foam. Okay. It's not that filmy whiteness in any way, and it's an SPF yes. 50. And I think you could yeah. try that. Do you see there's absolutely zero whiteness? All right, excellent. And when I look at your face now, the thing I notice the most is your eyebrows mm -hmm. start there, mm -hmm. and then they fade yeah. beautifully. Do they? I've lost them. Through menopause, they've gone. I want your eyebrows to frame your eyes. So we're going to work on that and how that's going to change you looking at the shape and the perspective of your face, Sandra. I'm getting excited. How often in your clothing do you wear subdued, deeper tones and how often do you wear bright colour? During the summer, I wear lots of bright colours. In the winter, like now, I'm greys and black, white and that sort of stuff. In the winter months, we need to bring that joy. Look at those beautiful colours that you love in the summer and maybe get a few in thicker fabric. So you wear that colour. In the winter. Then I'm just going to say on the days that you're doing your, your sort of chic blacks and navies and greys, I want to look at if you did a bold lip and a clean eye, what would that bold lip feel like to you? I've always wanted to wear red. I just haven't been confident enough to wear it. Never anything that bright, but yes, I'd love to try or an orange or something like that. Because the trick to me when I'm dealing with a deeper skin tone 
is not to make the bright lip clash with what's on the eye. Okay. That is the art of doing a fantastic bright lip on a deeper skin tone. So I'm gonna send you, oh, I'm excited, I'm sorry. I'm gonna send you two looks, all right? And I want, the first time we do the makeup, you're gonna keep what you've got on, because you do that, and we're gonna do a bold lip look and give you the balance. Okay. I want you to buy your favorite color in a top, in a fabric you can wear okay. in the winter. Right. And then we will do a makeup right. for that look. I'm excited. It's a brilliant idea in terms of wearing brighter colors for, for winter because no, I'm a summer I'm a summer person. Most of because of my, my Caribbean background. I've always said, oh, I'm not I'm not a, I'm not a winter but I'm not a winter baby, you know. You've got to bring that summer spirit and the joy that that feeling gives you into the winter. So you never have to spend months like a hedgehog hibernating until the sun comes out. Yeah, no, that's an excellent idea. I will see you next week when we will do part two. Look forward to that. Hi, Sandra. How are you? Hi, Trini. I'm doing well, thank you. Do you get all the products? Really lovely. Thank Good. you very much. Have you had a little play? I have. Can't believe lovely, bright colours. Very vibrant. So you got BFF. How many pumps would you suggest? I sort of do two pumps, and you can build up according okay. to what coverage you want. But, you know, the okay. point of this is to even out skin tone, give you that really lovely active ingredient. So it's like if you don't use... Lots of serums. This is your serum, Sandra. It's never ending, the joy of BFF de-stress. Really nice. Love the way it goes on. It's very smooth, very skin-like in that way. Love it. It took ages to get that sort of silkiness we wanted because I want people to think, Sandra, that they're putting on a serum. You see colour, so you think it's like mm. tinted moisturiser or foundation, but it's a serum with colour. So that's evening out. That's very nice. Under eye, just a little bit for you. Now, I usually take a little bit on the Zamac tip. It's very cooling. Do you get puffy eyes in the mornings? Sometimes I do, yes, depending on what time I've gone to bed. It's usually something that people use for um, eye serums, but we wanted to put it here because this is like an eye serum and a concealer have a baby together. <laughs> and then I just tap. Tap with your fingers, tap, right? Tap, okay. Tap, tap. And it's definitely done the job. Those dark circles are gone, disappeared. Banished for good. <laughs> do you have just a touch yes. as well? I do. Okay, so is there anywhere when you look you think, I quite like to bring that together. So I do like that aspect of it, that you just put it where you definitely just need it. Exactly. I put it for me around my nose. Everyone has different areas. So for me, it's about redness. And mm. for you, it's about pigmentation. Just My hairline. Mm -hmm. Just tap on until you feel you've got there. Really soothing. Very nice. Okay, lips. Now you have enviably delicious lips. And I usually start getting an element of colour on, just get a feel of the lip and then building it through. Okay. You can have a wash of Valentina, which would be like this, that's the first wash. But when you put more on, you get okay. that wonderful 3D pearl. Yeah, it's lovely. Really nice, really vibrant. Haven't worn anything like this before. I love it. Have you never worn a bright lip? I normally wear browns and golds. Never a bright lip. And I'm not sure why, because I remember seeing pictures of my mum when I was younger and she would always wear a red lip. And did it make you think your mother was glamorous? Definitely. This would have been 70s. That's correct, yes. I think you need to introduce her to some lipstick. Now I've shown you. I will do. Oh, I love that. That's really nice. Now that you've got a very impactful lip on, look at your brows and think how much currently are your brows framing your face? They're not. They're lost. When we do stronger makeup somewhere, we need to put our face back in proportion. You've got thicker hair in the center and then it goes sparser. I want to make that thickness all the way through your brow and just get a little bit straighter across. So the George Michael moment. You gotta have faith. <laughs> oh, you gotta have faith, baby. Do, 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 do. Can you sing for me? Because I'm a shitty singer. Oh, so am I. I've got a shower voice. Come on. Can we do a shower voice? together. Oh yeah. no, I won't risk it, Trini. You gotta have faith. You see how bad I am? I don't give a shit. <laughs> Put some in the pot and then I press it into the top of my hand so I just don't get muckiness on the side. Add a thickness a little bit along and try to make your brows straighter. So go in under the arch above it. So you, instead of being an arched brow, it's a straighter brow. Okay. Opens up the face. Yes. Uh, and this one, hello. <laughs>
<laughs> you know, when you think you've done enough, do a bit more. Big difference then, when you do brows and it takes a while to get used to. But I've seen people have some crazy brows and I think, oh gosh, what's happened? And I don't want to be one of those. No, I wouldn't let you be one of those, all right? That is crazy brow time. That's like when somebody's <laughs> been hit by a slug. Definitely. Sandra, you know the bit here? Yes. And I want you really to fill that in. I'm like, scared. I know you're scared. Don't be scared. Just do it. <laughs> That's much better. You could go a bit further along. At the moment, you've gone to the end of your lash line. Yeah, you go a little bit beyond it. That definitely looks better already. Great. All right, are you ready to do a little tiny bit of eye makeup? So I'm going to take Moon, and you could take a tiny wash of Chalice. Okay. And just put it back and forth just on your eyeball. Okay. That's really lovely. Very subtle. And you could even take a tiny bit of Faith as well. With my finger, I'm pushing it up into under my brow bone and it just gives a little that's accentuation that's it perfect all right darling i want to talk about blusher now how often do you wear blusher i don't wear blusher at all i'm not sure where it needs to go i don't know what colors to do the purpose of blusher to me is not to kind of make your skin blush like you've been for a run because not every skin tone goes a shade of blushing and after kind of caramel people don't blush on their skin. The purpose to me of blusher is to make your eyes sparkle. Getting a little bit color closer does it even more. So take a tiny bit from your lip and I want you to rub it between your fingers and then placing the blusher, because you have beautifully high cheekbones, look at your nose, go out in a straight line and then where your eyeball ends, that's the bit you start to put the blusher on. Yes, oh, there. Yes. But feel that when you look, it's not overpowering your lip, but it's got a great relationship with your lip. Yes. All right. I always like to put that tiny last bit yes, on my yes. eyelids. Anywhere in particular? Close my eyes and I just go onto my eyeball. Okay. It's not an eye makeup, it's a right. dot. A tiny hint of that Valentina. Yeah, it's lovely. Now, this is your first look. Bright okay. lip look with a black top. How do you feel? Oh, I love it. Got to go pop to the shops later, so recreate this. Definitely. Okay, so this is for you every day if you're wearing black. Think of that wash of a lip, think of your eyebrows, and then minimal eye makeup because it is all about the lip, but you don't want to be hit by a lip. You want the lip to incorporate in your face. That's why we do a tiny bit of that lip color on the cheeks and on the eye. All right, next look, Sandra. So, darling, we're now wearing a color that I remember you said to me that you wear just like on holiday in the Caribbean in the summer. That's correct, yes. I've, I love lots, lots of vibrant colors, but only for summer, never for winter. And also, only for summer, it sounds like in a very hot country where you might not want to wear much makeup. Yes, with the sun and the heat and sweating and being at this stage that I am, menopausal, yes, very little makeup. It all comes together in a beautiful, humid mess. I know that feeling really well. Do you know, whilst you're here in the UK and we got spring in the air and summer coming in, yes. why not wear more colour on your yeah. body, Sandra, and not yeah. be in black so much? And therefore, how can you make that top, which you might be using as a holiday mode, feel more sophisticated and urban? Yes. We got a different palette now. You can always chuck on a bit more de-stress mm -hmm. or BFFI just to tone down your makeup and put more colour on. Okay, that's good. We're going to start with Freddie. Okay. It's a lip to cheap, but we're going to literally use it everywhere. So I'm going to start off and I just want you to put it on your lips. It's going to be very neutral for you. Okay. It's going to be a little bit more colour for me. And I just tap it or you can spread it. I just, you know, give it some colour, honey. <laughs> So then you take that last tiny bit and we're going to go blushering again. You should be an expert now. Okay. We're going to go and we're going to go to that little bit by our nose, out to the corner and just, you know, tap a bit on, blend it in. Mm -hmm. And I sometimes then just take one finger and just do these sort of movements of sweeping it up. Okay. Just to get that lovely sweep of blusher. Yeah. Okay. Once it's on your skin, it gives mm -hmm. that lovely kind of glow and yes. bringing some color in. And then take those last tiny bits and I want you to put them on your eyes, put them on your eyeball and then push up into your brow bone for a little bit of definition. Not going over your brow bone, but just going back and forth a bit. So you do get some definition in your eye. And you can go back for more. I love the way it looks, very warm. You could do this with, you know, faith. You could do this with truth. 
but I just like the idea of the simplicity. You haven't got much time and you want to make a look and you're yes. using one pot three ways. Yes, no, that's excellent, really nice. Now you've got another pot there called Courage. Yes. Take a little bit of that and just go on the inner corner of your eyeball and then just blend it out to the center. Okay, that's different. And it's got a really beautiful pop of color courage. Mm. Nice. And you can go back and forth and really put it on because it's such a lovely color for you. Yes. I want to see that pop, honey. <laughs> you can even just do a little wing. So, right. So I'm just going to do like we did for the eyebrow. And then I'm just going to go to yeah. the inner corner of my eye like that. Yes. Underneath and bring it back down my eyelash line. Oh, underneath. Oh, okay. Yeah, just okay. a tiny bit. So you're doing like an inverted V like that there and then like that there and you just when it meets here yes. it goes a little bit over right okay and it's going to put a lovely light in the inner corner of your eye mm -hmm. you could mix it also even with a tiny bit of faith okay. which you use for your eyebrows do you think that's a real pop of color or yes could you put more on no i don't think so i think i, I like that as it is yes perfect yes. Yes. yes all right now get nicole sheer shimmer and I want you to start with your lips okay, and put it on. Oh, wow. Yeah. Amazing. I loved Freddy as it was, but having this on top, it, it's like a completely different lipstick. Nicole is a lip to cheek. So I want you to take oh. a little bit and I want you to put it over your blusher, tiny bit higher up. And it like makes that color pop and it gives an incredible texture to your skin. Got it? Got it. That's oh, wow. Gorgeous. Fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. Love it. And I can see the way it really blends with this coral top. It's very nice. I nearly say to myself, do I prefer this looks? But they're two such different looks, Sandra. Very much so. I was if you were doing really quick makeup, you could get just Freddie everywhere or just Nicole everywhere, you know, but it would give mm -hmm. you that sort of coolness because i think we can feel stuck in a rut you know when Definitely. we when we reach Definitely. menopause you just feel a bit mm. stuck mm. and you just want to feel really present and vibrant and strong definitely yeah no i love it love this yeah. i feel refreshed and renewed oh, that's yes. exactly how we want you to feel so every day when you wake up you can say to yourself what do i want to do for myself today and it will be to look like this as, as much as I can every day. So nice to hang with you, Sandra. Really great love way to that. spend an afternoon. Thank you very much. Bye. I love it. I loved both of Sandra's look. I can't decide which one I like the most, but just seeing her in that strong Valentina lip and it brought out her personality. After having this session with um, Trini, it's got me thinking that I'm going to spend a bit more time on myself so I can get my makeup done. Sandra is going to rethink her routine. Please apply following the link below because we love to have the largest variety of women from all over the world 